The more we learn about the victims, the more heartbreaking this story gets. Phoenix police do not believe the murder-suicide was premeditated. They tell us there was a holiday party here at this house where some type of argument broke out that suddenly turned deadly. It was a bond that went beyond just mother and daughter. Molly Cash and her 83-year-old mom, Cindy, shared a love of sports and would often be spotted at this local bar, hanging out watching the Suns and Cardinals. Sadly, Molly and her mom were murdered Christmas Eve when police say Molly's boyfriend, David Donito, shot and killed them, then turned the gun on himself following a holiday gathering at this house off Bethany Home Road and 2nd Avenue in Phoenix. She, she made a lot of friends. Phil Tibby has known Molly for more than a decade, where she's become a key member of their real estate team. He says Molly was like a mother figure to younger agents who learned from her hard work, compassion and loyalty. She was strong-minded, very opinionated. She tells it like it is. Um, mouth of a sailor at times, um, but genuinely she cared about people and she would stand up for what she believed in and if somebody rubbed one of her friends the wrong way she she would let them she would let them know. Arizona's family has learned that Molly was a graduate of Xavier High School in Phoenix where she made lifelong friends. Her loss and the death of her mother have hit the community hard with friends and loved ones struggling to come to grips with what happened. They say the world just lost two very beautiful people. Molly was always the one where you immediately felt like family when you met her. She treated you like family, loyal, caring, loving, would be words that I'd use to describe her. The ripple effects of this loss will be felt for generations to come. Molly had that much of an impact on the people that she knew and cared about and loved. Molly leaves behind an older son. The killer, David Donito, leaves behind two younger children. Phoenix police tell me there were others inside the house at the time of the shooting, but it's unclear whether or not any children were inside. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help with funeral expenses for Molly and her mother. For all the details, go to our webpage at azfamily.com. In Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family. And just shocking for the community. Jason, thank you.